Welcome to jobskillshare.org. Today we are going to continue our series on YouTube. Uh, if you go to YouTube and search job skill share and then look for the playlist and then make IT job easy with tools. This, go, this is going to be our 11th video and you can subscribe to see more when we post it. So sometimes we will share tools, sometimes sh we will share ideas, sometimes we will share anything that will make your IT learning or job easy. So today is going to be that learning thing. Remember I shared before that how you can continue courses and take the videos and stuff to help yourself. But now since we have new features, that's why you want to talk about it a little bit more and not just to say, oh, you can buy this lab and all that stuff. It's actually how you can use these labs to make your learning process very easy. Now when you're, when you're new into IT, you probably don't know, but people who are into this field, these type of things were not available back in the days. So people had to go for physical stuff, people had to go for a lot of virtual stuff, people have to buy a lot of memory to do virtualizations, and people have to spend a lot of uh, money on, on getting things together, and it's also noisy and things like that. And that was one of the main, main factor. Some of the people basically cannot continue with this stuff because it kinda, they kind of gave up basically because you have to do so much, so many different things and still uh, if something breaks there was no way to restore things quickly and stuff like that so that was the main stopping thing for people to learn in IT but now things are getting easy with these type of you know features that we are giving you guys so one of my main goal of this video is not to actually sell the lab it is to actually what it can do for you so it's really up to you after that if you want to go for it if you don't want to go for it so let's get started what can you achieve from this lab from your own uh, you know uh, learning so this is what I'm going to start with like I like I do my videos in a real world so this is the real world scenario that I'm just showing you right now and let's see what type of jobs um, are available outside with some of the well-known uh, skills that you need for the IT job, right? So simply type uh, help desk and I'm just gonna type Hyper-V right there. So if I type Hyper-V you can see right here uh, and I have not even some of them maybe I clicked on it but look I did not click on all these none of these links and some of them are coming up with help desk windows administrator. So if I click on help desk windows administrator just look at what they are asking. Hyper-V, two years of experience in Hyper-V. Now don't worry about these years like I said in many many of my videos. Now don't worry about these ears because like I said in many of my videos that sometimes people will let go of the ears as long as you know the hands-on stuff. So look at this, help this Windows System Administrator needs to know about Hyper-V, needs to know about SCCM, needs to know about WDS, needs to know about PDQ Deploy, this is the thing that we covered usually, ticketing system um, and some other things right here. Um, Hyper-V again, CCM and all that stuff is again in there. But if I go back again and unless I type something else with it, like uh, VMware. So if I type VMware, you can see again, help this positions in that with that term will come up. So if I click on it and basically this, pe these people right here are asking a little bit more from a help this, but I can see that there are some VMware stuff in there somewhere. So that's why it's coming. GPO, group policy. Uh, and uh, some other things like Cisco devices need to know how to access Cisco devices show interface and that they're saying that you should be able to do this kind of basic stuff on these things and if I click on this one um, let's say what they are asking uh, as, as you can see they don't have too much on it skills but yeah I mean, let's see this go down so yeah they, they, they don't put too much too much uh, like you know what what they're expecting you to do and all that but they don't put too many uh, VMware kind of stuff, but you can do always like if you do search term, you can do Control F and type VMware, and you can see it just pop up right there. So they're asking you to know about VMware. They're asking you to know about certification in Microsoft. They're asking you to know a little bit about A plus and. and the main idea of this video is to show you right now that jobs are available outside and they're putting these skills into their job terms. So how would you kind of, you know, go to interview and then talk about it when you don't even have hands-on practice? Of course, you can watch videos on YouTube and things like that. But at some point, you have to let go of that and you really need to get on the, the, the hands-on side. So some people prefer to just buy things and that, that's where I said that was an old way. But now people are actually going for labs like this. So when you go to this site, you click on this little lab uh, green icon. It will you will take it will take you right here. 
And I, I suggest you go for full access. The reason is that I'm going to jump around to different things that I just showed you guys. And that was just a few things. So once you get to the labs, you have a full access. Then you can see you have Cisco devices right here. So you can work on that. And Cisco is pretty normal. You know, if I click on it, you're going to see routers and switches. And that's like, you know, you just follow uh, that. But what I want to show you is more specifically that can help you with the help desk and entry level jobs. And that's going to be definitely the Cisco and router, just the basic stuff, you know, just to log in and all that. And that will show you that in these labs and these are PDF files you follow and then you do it in the lab. But then you have something like pretty powerful stuff like, you know, a full VMware virtualization that is already set up for you. So, for example, in this one, let's say you go to interview and you can tell people that I can administer and I can manage um, the virtual uh, the virtual machine in, in VMware because I have full lab. I did something on it. You can prove that to them, you know, by showing some, some of the certificate and, and things from here. If you click on it, you can see what you can do with it. You look at how much you can get with these labs. This was impossible a few years ago. Some of these things were not available or very, very expensive that you should. Be. Now it's not that expensive. For one year, you have full access to these. I mean, it gets reset all the time. So when you finish with your labs in 90 minutes and you can auto, uh, you, when you when it goes to like, let's say 10 minutes, you can put it back to 90 minutes as long as you don't let it log out. So you can practice on it again and again, again and again. And once you restart, everything goes back to uh, day one fresh. So that's what I'm talking about, What, how it can make your life very easy when you take these labs. And I kind of like, you know, I hope people understand is that this is not something that, you know, I'm pushing people to buy these things. It is, I've been doing this for last five years and people can search my, my channel and they can go back to my old videos. They're five to four years old and none of this was available. So what I had to do before, I had to basically show people how to install an ISO on the server and then I would get stuck somewhere and I would not able I was not able to continue my courses at some point. Why? The reason is that because I didn't have that kind of resources that you see it over here. Like for example some of the things are license based like vCenters. Now of course you can go for trial and stuff like that. But it's a lot of work as a trainer. You know, I hope another trainer will come in here and just kinda maybe support this comment right here that it is so hard to create videos and keep them up to date that the reason is that you cannot go back and redo these things that you have already created it's not easy so you needed something like this for your own practice and your own training also when you have ability like this where you can go and just open a vmware like this a server that is already a domain controller then you have a vc like um the vCenter right there, that connection. Then you have all the the host right here, all the diagrams right here, all the PDF right here in, in this session. You keep doing that and that's where you do your certification. That's where you do your real practice on. So you can follow this PDF to finish your certification, but at the same time, you can come into these labs and actually log into the vCenter and all these uh, VMware stuff and then actually do something in these labs like you know I work on like uh, taking a snapshot uh, copying a virtual machine that's something that we do on a daily basis so that is something that's my goal in the future that I'm going to be covering videos on top of these but that's going to take a lot of time again I mean imagine if I had to v take videos on each uh, you know skill like a VMware and stuff like that it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a good time for so I suggest you guys to really take take benefit of these labs and um, use it because like I said this is only VMware so you cover that one skill that VMware stuff right there somewhere right if I basically go into this lab and look for now let's say for example I want to cover something about Hyper-V so you can basically do some some of the Hyper-V stuff like you know how to manage Hyper-V and all that kind of stuff so you can you don't have to follow the whole lab and the whole certification path you can just do what is important to you as a helpless person where you can at least go and talk to people that at least I know how to manage this stuff I know how to do virtualization on a Hyper-V, on a VMware, on the other skills that are provided in these lab. So that was the video for you today because it does, uh, the reason I added to this section because it is one of the things to make your job easy and make your learning easy. And if I find something like this again and if I come across some of the labs again, I'll probably make another video. And the reason I'm making this video is to make it easy for people to do specific things. So today the specific thing was to to explain that to you that people are using these terms in a human and help these positions. So 
you don't have the ability to learn it that way quickly because you don't understand how these things are done how these things are created so that's why you need to just come to the labs and just do it as how you're going to be doing at work so when you go and land a job at work you don't you are not preparing the whole vc uh, vc uh, hosting and all that stuff you don't do that but you will be doing something basics so think of yourself working for a company that is virtualization based and this company is helping other companies and they're doing a lot of virtualization you could be a help desk for them and even though you're doing some things that are basic level but at another company somebody will be doing that as a system admin level so never think that you know you are a help desk in your tier one you're always fixing things like small things you could be a tier one for web servers web company you could be a tier one for Cisco uh, company you know working with networking you could be a, a tier one for servers uh, company like where people are providing server infrastructure type of resources so that's what I'm saying you know you need to take advantage of these labs thank you if you're interested make sure you go to that link and get the lab if you are having issues then just comment and I will reply back thank you